Hello everyone, I'm Moitrei Das and today I'm going to talk about our research on augmenting accessibility and synchronous collaborative writing for people with vision impairments. In this project, I work with Thomas McHugh and Mary Piper and Darren Gargle. So when we talk about collaborative writing, what comes to our mind probably looks something like this. There's an image on this slide showing a screenshot of a Google Doc where two co-authors are writing together and adding comments. Sighted people can quickly look back and forth at the comments in the sidebar or the co-author's color-coded cursors to see who is doing what and where. The design of these visual cues has been informed by over 30 years of ACI research that explores how people maintain collaboration awareness and try to understand who is doing what and where in a shared document, and how people employ various coordinating strategies to increase work efficiency. Researchers have also developed visualization techniques to further improve how sighted people can understand and make use of collaboration information in a shared document. But how does a visually impaired writer who uses screen readers engage in collaborative writing? In our team, we have been investigating accessibility in collaborative writing for the past few years. In our CCW 2019 paper, we presented how blind writers negotiate accessible tools and practices with their sighted colleagues. In the next study, we designed a variety of non-speech auditory techniques to improve accessibility in asynchronous collaborative writing. We reported our findings in a Tokai paper, which I'm also going to present at Kai this year, so please check that out as well. The study I'm going to present now focuses on accessibility in synchronous collaborative writing, when multiple people work together on the same document at the same time. So first, to understand accessibility in synchronous writing, we conducted formative interviews and remote observations with eight visually impaired academics and professionals. From these sessions, we identified three complexities in synchronous writing for screen reader users. Firstly, we observed that screen reader users find it difficult to understand who is doing what and where in real time in the document. It's also challenging for them to assess relative proximity between their cursor and their quarter's cursor positions, and this makes it difficult for them to avoid concurrent edits. And finally, there's no straightforward way for screen reader users to get a high-level overview of collaboration information, like which part of the document is being edited a lot, and what sections are not edited at all. And to address these issues, we developed a Google Docs extension called Collab that works alongside a user's screen reader and incorporates a number of spoken and non-speech audio interactions to improve accessibility in synchronous writing. Now I'll share a few key features of the lab. To help users understand who is doing what and where in real time, the lab incorporates a follow mode where people can listen to what a author is typing and also jump to their cursor location at any point to explore in more detail. Next, to help screen reader users avoid content edits, the lab indicates relative proximity between cursors with earphones, like short musical notes and representative auditory icons, like typing sound on a keyboard. When cursors are closer, the pitch or loudness of earcons or auditory icons gets higher. And when cursors are far away, pitch or loudness gets lower, as shown in the image here with higher and lower frequency response. Now let's explore a video demo for earcons that indicate relative proximity. If one of my co-authors, such as Anonymous Walrus, enters my paragraph, I'll hear a musical note. If they come to the line where I have my cursor, a slightly higher pitch note occurs. If they place the cursor at the exact same spot where I am, an even higher pitch note happens. If they move away from my paragraph, then I hear a lower pitch note. And finally, to help screen reader users get high-level overview of collaboration information, we took inspiration from the concept of editware and included an audio scroll bar where a user can navigate the document by paragraph or line. And Collab emits the icons with varying pitch or repeatedly playing icons to indicate the number of edits, comments, or active cursors in that paragraph or line. The more active a paragraph is, the higher the pitch of the icon is. And to evaluate these features, we conducted individual exploration sessions with 15 screen care users. Then we also conducted naturalistic writing sessions with three dyads, each involving a screen reader user and one of their known sighted collaborators. For the sake of time, I will not go into the details of our findings here, but I'll just show you one example of how Collab changes the nature of interaction in synchronous writing. So this is a vignette from the session with Jim, who is a screen reader user, and Eva, his sighted collaborator. 
In this example, Jim was adding content on a paragraph when Ava placed her cursor to Jim's paragraph for discussing a typo. And this triggered an ear con. When Jim heard the ear con, he became aware that Ava had joined his paragraph. And he verbally said, I see you. The ear con prompted Jim to explore exactly where Ava was in the paragraph and what she was doing. So he moved his cursor to Ava's location by pressing collab shortcut. Ava then drew Jim's attention to a specific phrase where she had her cursor. She said pickup could be one word. Jim explored the particular phrase by moving his cursor back and forth and deleted the space between pick and up. Why this example is really interesting is that we can see how accessibility is created here not only by the new technological features we introduced but also by human collaborators who enacted more accessible practices together by making use of these features. This way, we see that the auditory cues and navigation features in Collab help Jim and Ava coordinate joint attention and achieve common ground. Collab features also help Jim maintain peripheral awareness of Ava's activities and fluidly transition between the task he was performing on his own and attending to what Ava was doing. All of these activities were extremely difficult and often impossible to perform in existing real-time editing platforms, where the screen reader users need to entirely depend on verbal exchange with sighted collaborators to understand where or what they are editing. Jim reflected on his experience of writing with Collab. He said, it was kind of very, very cohesive and very smooth. We got to focus a little bit more on bouncing ideas than where are you now? Okay, here I am kind of thing. So it left a lot more room for actual discussion, brainstorming, and writing. So what does these findings mean for collaboration in ability diverse teams? So far, much of the theories and frameworks of collaboration awareness have assumed symmetry in collaborators' ability to access a shared workspace. For example, in Goodwin and Greenberg's framework, key informational elements include collaborators' gaze and view. That is understanding where collaborators are looking and where they can see. But what does a collaborator's gaze or view mean for a screen reader user? Our analysis highlights these asymmetries that exist in information needs, modalities, perception, and ways of meaning making among ability diverse team members. As an example, for sighted people, jumping to a quarter's location means bringing the quarter's editing area into the field of view. But for screen reader users, this means putting their own cursor at the quarter's cursor location either through verbal guidance or in the case of Collab using the jump to location shortcut. So to create more equitable and inclusive collaboration technologies, we need to revisit the notion of collaboration awareness and recognize these asymmetries in ability diverse collaboration. Please read our paper for our detailed findings and the concrete design considerations we outlined for enhancing accessibility in collaborative writing.